video. As you can see, I have a large selection of candles hanging out next to me. I thought it might be fun to show you my candle collection. I gathered everything up together, placed it right here, and we're gonna go through them all. I think there's about 20 or so candles to go through, so I'll try and be brief while being as descriptive as possible and painting a nice scent picture for you. This first candle is called Charm and it is an 18 ounce three wick candle. Wow. It really smells like grass. It smells very, very green, but almost, almost sweet, like, almost like a wheatgrass shot, if you've ever had one of those before. I feel like wheatgrass shots are very, are sort of maybe a very dated health food thing at this point. This next candle is called Running Errands, and it is a nine ounce smaller candle. Hmm. It kind of has, oh, you know what this smells like? like a coffee drink, like a sweet Starbucks frappuccino, caramel, mocha, macchiato, I don't know. They, you know, that sort of like flavor syrup vibe. So it's a very sweet but pleasant scent. This next candle is called Basic. It smells like a fall candle for sure. Kind of a hint of like clove, cinnamon, definitely a pumpkin-y, pumpkin spice vibe, more of a food scented fall scent. This candle is called Goals. It's a very bubbly, effervescent, almost smells like fruity, almost like pink champagne. It really feels like it's summer and you're out on some sort of rooftop or patio and you're drinking a very, very, very expensive fruity, citrusy mix drink from the bar. This is a three-week candle called Weekend Brunch and it really smells like, like, like maple syrup. I think it wants to be true maple syrup, but I think it's corn syrup. This candle is called Reputation and this is one of my more masculine scented candles. I feel like all masculine scents or like manly scents are always designed in like a very specific way. And it's also interesting that certain scents are sort of supposed to be more masculine, like, like wood smells or cologne smells, things of that nature. I don't really know why that is, or like tobacco, whiskey, aftershave. Oh, this one smells really good though. It has a very musky, woody scent, almost like deodorant mixed with wood scent. Maybe even a, toba a hint of tobacco in here too. Yeah, absolutely. This is called Crumbs in the Couch. It actually has like a little picture of a couch on the label and it really does smell like crumbs in the couch, but very, it smells like Fritos. It smells like, or like, you know, microwave popcorn, that like artificial butter smell in microwave popcorn. When I was, when I was a kid, I used to make microwave popcorn and I like was obsessed with that artificial butter taste and I would like lick the inside of the bag. This, smells like me licking the inside of the popcorn bag when I was a kid. This candle is simply named The Truth. It's a smaller candle. I don't know exactly what um, the ounces on this are. I can't get it open. Oh, here we go. It doesn't smell like anything. I think this is unscented actually. So just a little unscented jar candle, soy wax. Next, we have this nine ounce candle called Island Sunset. It smells like Puerto Rico, but it smells like 
me covering my body in citronella oil because I've been getting bit by mosquitoes for like five days straight and I can't find any relief and the citronella isn't really even working either. It smells like that. It smells like my desperation and citronella. Next we have this three wick candle simply called Breathe which is a more calming, meditative, spa-like scent. I think it's kind of a lavender smell. Very bathroomy. This is definitely a good candle to burn somewhere in your bathroom or when you're taking a bath or when you're trying to have calming energy around you. It's a very spa candle. Next up, we have this 16 ounce candle called Bloom. This is absolutely just a gardenia scent. Gardenia is a very kind of a musky floral. It feels very pungent. My mom always had like gardenia scented things when I was growing up, like body lotion. And I think she would just buy the gardenia scented body lotion from like Bath and Body Works, but I remember using it all the time and like it kind of being this constant presence in my life growing up. And so I'm always really, really attached and like attracted to gardenia and like musky white floral scents. This candle is simply called Blessed and it is another three week candle. This is a very wintry, Christmassy scent. Oh, I love the smell. It's got like a pine, cedar, Mmm, it just smells like Christmas, but it's not like sweet Christmas. It's not like that pumpkin spice candle that I was smelling earlier with the cinnamon and the clove. This is a very, very just straight up Christmas tree scent. This candle is very sweetly named First Kiss, and I already know what this smells like, but it's been a while, so I will... Oh yeah, smells exactly like garlic like garlic bread, like just straight up chopped up garlic. It is very, very, very powerful. Just, I can like taste the garlic. Next up, we have this candle called Work From Home that smells pretty much exactly like cleaning product. It smells like, um, like Febreze or any sort of fabric spray mixed with there's a bit of like a stale scent or like almost like a urine scent it smells like when your cat pees on the couch and you need to get the smell out so you spray it with like a ton of febreze or whatever um, cleaning product you use for that sort of thing but the smell is like still sort of lingering deeply underneath. That's exactly what it smells like. This candle is called Earth and I can't remember what this one smells like. I'm gonna assume it's more of an earthy scent. This smells like fresh dirt. It's got kind of a little bit of a moldy smell to it. Not like a not like a sour rotten moldy smell but but it's not necessarily good like an attic or a basement but also dirt here we have afternoon storm which is kind of like a rain smell let me smell it Ooh, to me i think it wants to smell like rain but it just smells like chemicals to me i've always had a hard time with water ocean rain, those sorts of like things that you know there is a smell to them, but it's hard for you to describe. I guess like ocean, you could say like it's salty, it's fishy, and most people probably wouldn't make a candle like that or want a candle like that. So I feel like instead what candle companies do is they try and make things smell like the idea of that thing but not necessarily the actuality of that thing. It's also worth noting that smelling a candle that hasn't been lit it might be a little bit different than if you were to burn it and what the smell might smell like throughout your house or in that room. 
it's kind of the same as if you smell a perfume. It's going to smell very different on your skin versus just like spraying it on a little strip test strip. So just to keep that in mind. This lovely candle is called French Tips. It smells like going to a nail salon. Not as strong. I feel like nail salons really smell like acetone, like nail polish remover. This definitely has a nail polish remover vibe. It smells like getting your nails done. But it also smells a little like bubble gum. This candle is called White Mercedes. Ooh, it smells like a brand new car, my friend. It really smells like, like uh, plasticky, rubbery, like a fresh car when you're buying your car and taking it for a test drive at the dealership. Like I would know because I don't have a car. This is Flame. This is a Mmm, yeah. This is a little bit similar to that man candle that we were smelling earlier, but it's a little more fiery. It's definitely got a campfirey, musky, all of those, all of those vibes. It's a very pleasant smell. This is cake and sprinkles. Mmm, very, very sweet. Smells like birthday cake, or vanilla cake, or any sort of white or yellow cake. What you would think a traditional birthday cake scented thing or flavored thing would smell like. This is called Carefree. I forgot what this one was, what, what this one smelled like. Oh, it smells like middle school. It smells like... Victoria's Secret, what is that Victoria's Secret? Love Spell, it smells like Love Spell. It smells like getting ready for the middle school dance, going to the mall and picking out your first perfume or body spray or body lotion. It, it smells like being in middle school. We have arrived at our final candle. And this one is called Petals. It is, I presume, if I remember correctly, a floral scent. Ooh, that smells like straight up roses. Roses and nothing else, just rose petals. Like truly, like if you were to go walk down the street and stick your face in a rose, that's exactly what this smells like. So there you have it, that is the full tour of my candle collection. I hope I was descriptive enough to help you sense some of the scents that exist within my collection or candle library. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you soon. Bye!